Hey guys, Mikasan here, and it's time for a death battle! And we have East versus West here. Comics versus manga, cartoon versus anime, take your pick here. Or, yeah, so we got Venom from Marvel Comics versus Krona from, uh, well, I guess anime here and Soul Eater. Now, uh, let's see. These are both people who use essentially a black gooish substance for their attacks, stuff like that. And, all right, all right. From what, okay, uh, I know Venom, obviously, from the comic iteration and so on and so forth in the previous death battle with Bane. Krona, however, I only know Krona from the anime Soul Eater, which at the time it was airing on Toonami. You know how that is. Uh, that ended meh, and I was told in the comment section that Krona in the manga, which is the main continuity, okay, more powerful here to the point where she, he, she, I think I'll, I'll just say it, because she's supposed to, be, a girl is supposed to be an androgynous character, you, you really can't tell, so it, impersonal enough, so yeah. To the point where Krona has like a sonic blast, which instantly makes me think she had it has, Krona has the advantage over Venom. <sighs> but, yeah, when I was, yeah, okay, and, when people told me that Krona from the manga is a very different beast, I instantly remembered a few days before the previous death battle, I watched a uh, Watch Mojo video about, you know, 10 animes adaptations that need a refresh, if you will. Like, they, ha they mentioned, like, Rosario Vampire, which, yes, it does, big time. And, of course, yeah, Soul Eater was one of them as well. But I never read the manga, so I don't know. I would also, I would also like them to refresh Knights of Magic. Anyhow, moving on here, so... <clears throat> I don't know, just the fact that Krona has a sonic attack and makes me uh, think... Ha has an edge over Venom. Let's see, let's see, uh, yeah, but it's one of those things here with the flaw, but also, yeah, oh, what the hell? I still had that? <laughs> My bad. Sorry about that, people. But yeah, why, I guess, uh, because Blu-ray sales of the, of the show were lackluster. But seriously, if Full Metal Alchemist could get a refresh with Brotherhood, which is more close to the manga, why not? Let's take a look here. Okay, we got good audio there. Let me just lower the volume a bit here. It's always nice to have a best friend attached to your hip, like me and my shotgun leg. But <laughs> these two take yeah. their friends even further than that. Yeah. And the lethal symbiote and Spider-Man's best frenemy. Best frenemy, so yeah. The deadly demon sword from Soul Eater. He's with demon sword boosted. from Soul Eater. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay, we're doing this again, huh? Oh yeah, right. Black goo is the beginning of time. Mind of, of its own. The faraway reaches of space, the Klinta rose from a living darkness. One of these amorphous symbiotes was Venom. Who was a freaking loser? Hey, don't look at me. All the goop aliens were saying it. So really? The poor slime ball straight off the planet. In its exile, the symbiote underwent a number of really? misadventures, which firmly shaped its personality. It bonded to a heroic Kree soldier rescuing refugees, a violent monster who committed genocide, and apparently Deadpool, Deadpool. yeah. Venom. No wonder Venom's so messed up in the head. Eventually, the symbiote was discovered by Peter Parker, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Uh, what Wade Wilson? Mac oh yeah, Matt Gardner is right, yeah. Chocolate and brains. Created with the liquid host, copy host with power, had eight symbiotic children. Extreme heat. Ill-timed, as this event would cause the symbiote to finally meet its greatest partner, Edward Brock. And he was a journalist with the unluckiest backstory ever. While trying to uncover the identity of a serial killer, he blamed the wrong guy. The same day he published his article, Spidey caught the real killer, who lived right next door to the dude Eddie blamed. 
Whoa. Long story short, Eddie was fired from his job, divorced by his wife, Ouch. and disowned by his father. Ouch. He already from... blamed Eddie for his wife dying in childbirth. On top of Ouch. all of that, Eddie learned he developed adrenal cancer with only a few months left to live. Man, and I thought 2020 was rough. I almost don't blame him for becoming a supervillain. With all hope lost, <laughs> yeah. he begged God to take it all away. Yeah, this scene Listen, was kind of... like Captain Planet with their powers combined. These two... Anti-Venom talk to him, evil protector. A super loser. Terminal. <laughs> a super loser. He became a horrifying monster with all of Spider-Man's powers and then some. Their mutual hatred of Spider-Man caused the symbiote to bond to Eddie like no host ever before. Yeah, I don't know. Perfect. They still terrible, say, like, we. Unstoppable demon. They were Venom. It even cured Eddie's cancer. Sort of. It's complicated. What? Apart from Spider-Man's webbing and web-crawling powers, Venom can use shapes... Uh, walls, crawling, cool physical dead. wailing. Sword, shield, yeah, of course. Powers, worm, monster things, even wings. Yeah, imagine seeing... Okay, wow. I did not see that. Night. Well, That'd be awesome. <laughs> <Venom can camouflage laughs> I've seen worse, but yeah. Heal severe wounds like impalement and lost limbs. See all around him at once, and that's true. project emotions onto others. Normally, this exactly project feel sorry for themselves, like Wiz on Tinder. But <laughs> Ouch. a bunch of other symbiotes that life was meaningless and they killed themselves. Shit, that's dark. If desperate, wow. the symbiote can even invade the bodies of others and make them burst from inside out. Shit, and awesome. But if he mm -hmm. doesn't want to pop them like a fun balloon, he can just take over their body like a creepy... I love you. We're not getting more information of Venom here. You control them by fusing the symbiote to their nervous system. Granted, nothing that spectacular, but the fact they can do all this was surprising to me. Mind control is extremely difficult unless you have powers that can directly counter it, such as another symbiote. Oh, God. Aliens, tentacles, and mind control? Uh-oh. Are we sure this episode is rated E for everyone, or do we need to start blurring stuff? <laughs> what? I didn't see the movie. Aside from being a horrible mass murderer, Venom... I did not see the movie, so... What? Right. right. Venom proved a dangerous thorn in Spider-Man's side, and frequently ruined his life. Yeah, he I remember that. page out of my favorite book, The Most Dangerous Game, and hunting him on a private island. Yeah, he was the coolest rival ever. Caught him through over 200 tons, 200 tons of the train. See, even with so much anger, Eddie had a legitimate desire to protect others. Escaped the wrong man and survived. His dad's car, he accidentally Took. ran over and killed a child. Whoa. Despite his desire to confess, his father forced him to plead innocent and rigged the jury. The guilt has weighed him down ever since. Wow. So while Venom does have a hunger for human brains, he'd rather eat the face off a criminal than an innocent person. Venom's <laughs> as tough as they come. He's yeah. like Ghost Rider's pen and stare. He's strong enough to toss a tank what? hundreds of How? and fast enough to take down Spidey 2099, who once caught Mjolnir while it was moving 2,000 times the speed of sound. What? Venom How? That's the spider sense that allows Parker to react in really? seconds. He can still keep oh. up with all the usual Spidey gallery. Plus, for the spider sense? Well, yeah, like a spider. And heat, he's he got, yes, he got 360 vision, though. Like when he took this giant explosion, or when he survived... All right, so yeah, he's got resistance, so Crota scream. Within 10 miles. While he may be tougher wow. to take down than most... 10 miles, say. Venom never fully overcame his weaknesses. However, his symbiotic genes provide far more help than harm. This includes traits and memories from other hosts, like Scorpion and Flash Thompson. <laughs> okay. Minute. Bullets are a genetic trait? How do I pass that down? <laughs> I <laughs> yeah. certainly need a lot of firepower to survive an encounter with the symbiote god. God, oh, geez, here we go. Symbiote god? Course, the Quintar symbiotes were seen as a peaceful people. But turns out they were actually living weapons forged by the primordial deity Null in an attempt to conquer what? the universe. What? But next up, Marvel decides their magic maple syrup people from Asgardian <laughs> IHOP. But okay, <laughs> cosmic sludge made by alien Satan. Alien <laughs> Satan? Sure, why not? And they went soft and be good. Far more than the dark legacy the Clintar were intended for. They've even gained the respect of the Avengers and eventually considered Spider-Man a friend. Sort of. It's sort of. Complicated. Eddie really is the best pal Venom could have found. And let's be real, he just looks freaking badass. Trust mm. everywhere, even in your nightmares. Okay. In times, There's a lot. The demonic being known as the Kishi ravaged humanity, nearly driving all mankind into the depths of madness. 
This monster could only be defeated and sealed away by the God of Death. Uh, why is the literal God of Death so goofy looking? You're yeah, he, death he, death he, death he took that. that. Is scarier than this yeah. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with the world of Soul Eater. Yeah, he took that form because to be more kid friendly. Well, not one in a return of the apocalypse. Walk, walk. His oven mitts found in a oven mitts, yeah. Academy. <laughs> he took on a more friendlier period after the whole the outdoor deal. They even got neat thieving weapons that doubled as people. Together, they learned courage, chivalry, unbreakable friendship. You know, all, all that anime crap. Yeah, hey! Was not one of these students. Wait, what do you say? It's all Corona. From here. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I know how to deal with this situation. Throughout their childhood, Krona was abused by... They are unknown. Uh, manga Krona referred to as gender neutral, which translates to they or them pronouns. Okay. Anime Uma Thurman was such a... Anime Uma Thurman? Why don't I make my own fusion? So she used her child as a guinea pig in a bunch of crazy experiments. You know, it kind of sounds like something you do, Wiz. Don't be silly. I only use actual guinea pigs. Actual guinea pigs. Okay, yeah. They or them. Bonding Krona to a weapon. Much like the Meisters of Death Academy. Fifteen experiments, experiments his birth was a bit fused to be man weapon. Dress and loneliness. Transforming weapon person until Medusa melted him alive in black blood. Wow. Black blood being another experiment of hers. Krona's own blood is in fact the same black blood which they can remotely control. It can be used to heal wounds and even harden as a sort of internal armor. Cooking rags and black blood turned him into a brand new weapon that was literally poured into Krona's bloodstream. From that point on, Krona and Ragnarok were two halves of the same person. The meek and tortured child firmly attached to their loud and brazen weapon. And Raggy has that black blood control too. They can yank poor Krona around like a puppet. They can okay, use wow. Blood to create wings, thorny vines, all kinds of weapons. I forgot a lot of the details here. Uh, uh. Yeah. What's up with that mouth when he transforms into a sword? That thing's messed up. <laughs> like the Meisters, Krona can wield their own soul in combat. Amplified by Ragnarok as a technique called Scream Rest. Why they got a speaker? It's like hooking an electric guitar up to an amp. Though more akin to a screeching banshee on LSD. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> Incredibly powerful, causing internal <laughs> he's, he's and bleeding. vibrate to increase his cutting power. Hey, vibrate. Okay? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Krona set out on a quest. All right, a so, but yeah, but they don't—they don't say much as how powerful the, that screech is. Yeah, Ragnarok can absorb the souls of dead people, and supposedly Dark 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 through. souls will turn Krona into the Kishin. So they went around slaughtering hundreds of people. Despite their name, Death Academy wasn't exactly a fan. Particularly their star student, Maka Alburn. Don't worry, she and Krona ended up becoming good friends. Yeah. Well, they weren't sort yeah. of yeah. complicated. She gets, upon in Medusa's mission, Krona gets manipulated a lot. Levels of new potential. Notably, after gaining or absorbing the powers of the monstrous Black Cloud. The, the Black Cloud. The Brood, and even Ashura, the original Kishi. All of which increased Krona's abilities, especially the black blood. Now Krona can turn mad blood. Whoa! Into goop, and the slightest touch could inflict madness. That's madness with a capital M, by the way. This okay. Madness is a corruptive effect that causes targeted variants of delusion or obsession. Yeah, I remember that episode actually. The wavelength of Krona's mad blood specifically. Ah, uh, uh, damn! It's buffering. Sorry, people. Wait, why are you buffering? You gotta. Why are you buffering when you've got this much loaded already? Causes violent psychosis. Krona may be a pawn, but they're a badass. They can cut through a whole ghost ship, cover the moon with sound waves, open the moon's so, mouth. Oh, what over the moon's the mouth? What? Over that moon. Yeah, yeah. And Ragnarok yeah. have held their own against multiple Death Academy students, including Maka, Death the Kid, and Blackstar. Uh, Black Blackstar gets annoying. Kid once flew from Nevada to Egypt in less than a minute. And what? Black Star is even faster. He's dodged lasers and been tracked moving over 20 kilometers in six microseconds while approaching what? Baba Yaga Castle. How? Really? Mad blood wow. Crush a whole goddamn Ukrainian city. While this city isn't named, we can use a similar metropolitan area in Ukraine. Kiev, for instance. 
With this in mind, Krona must have created over... Light of Black Star, you're vendable, we're using light refraction technique in the game to put a, a, a normal light. Olympic swimming pools. But wow. But Krona's a big leap from invincible. They've had their shit kicked in plenty of times, and their hardened black blood can only block so much. Even then, Medusa's plan ultimately succeeds. After years Maybe of ghost scheme, ship. Krona absorbed the power of Ashura and became... Fe Kishin. Medu Medusa... Well, like Kishin absorbed Krona, but... Well, like Kishin absorbed... Oh. Friendship, Krona oh, yes. wound up defeating the Kishin once and for all. Despite their life being nothing but destruction, Krona was the one who ultimately saved the world. With yeah, wow. Side effect of a new madness wavelength that made everyone obsessed with boobs. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> tonight <laughs> what what how when why oh, who cares I'm tired of trying to figure out how to deal with you <laughs> all right the combatants are set we've run the data through all possibilities it's time for a death battle Look, oh, oh, I'm crying out loud. Okay, let me just push back here. All right. Yeah, okay, this is buffering. A lot of people are... Then again, this is getting released right now, so I guess a lot of people are watching this. <coughs> Anyhow, oh, wow, yeah. Rona? While, yeah, they said that Venom has become more... Tolerant to noises and such, but Krona, what they can do at full when they get full power and everything like that, it's like wow. And if Venom tries to, like, you know, cause Krona to blow up from within, well, keep in mind, there's still Ragnarok's inside of Krona, so. I don't think it'll work. So, yeah, I'm gonna go, go with Krona here. Anime, it's, that, it is anime after all. Hello? Uh, I wanna be alone. Aww. Oh, he's mad. Uh, they're, they're mad. Like, okay. Your mind is ours. In the time. Mm, don't look at. Don't count it. Okay. Yeah. Showing the tolerance there. Yeah, Krona, I think Krona is faster here. Yeah, Krona is definitely faster. That won't work at all. So, that... What is he? You are the ones hiding under your bed. Ha ha ha! And eyes glowing red! Nice! N nice reference right there. They so they thought it's time for Halloween here, cause now I wanna watch uh I wanna watch uh night the night before Christmas. Your blood. Oh no. <laughs> it's blood. The Adam got about the Adam the animation's pretty good. That Ha 
Okay, there we are. Okay, it's here we are. Damn that that laughing moon. Oh they why did they make that by the way here? What was the point of that? But yeah, no, this is very well done here. Okay, yeah, Chrome. I like the look on Krona's face. I hate you, okay. <laughs> At point blank, not even you can survive that. Yep, two souls. Oh, let's see what happens here. Well, it work. Ah, because it does. Yep, yep, Chrono one. Man, these symbiotes really need to stop picking fights with pink haired anime characters. Pink haired anime characters. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Yeah. His shape-shifting camouflage and multitude of weapons kept Krona on guard. Unfortunately, Venom lacked the power needed to keep up a pro. If anything, this was like this was like almost a curve stomp. Makes for a pretty clear difference. Krona could reach Mach 9,000, while Venom only topped out around Mach 2,000. And while Venom has shown incredible physical strength that puts Spider-Man to shame, he could never compete with nine trillion tons of mad blood. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, that precise control of the black blood totally meant Krona could push out any of Venom's attempt at being a puppeteer. And Krona has shown even greater feats of strength as well. Assuming all of the moon's teeth are similar. Moon's to the teeth are similar. <laughs> yeah. Well, Venom is a It does not necessarily mean he's immune to the all physical psychic The final nail in Eddie's coffin was the fact that half of Krona's arsenal was sound based. Exactly. Venom's kryptonite. Somewhat. Recall that Venom did gain a notable resistance to sound attacks. So we needed to determine if Krona's sonic waves were great enough to effectively harm him. You know those gremlins who shattered every window in 10 miles with a screech attack? Yeah, okay, yeah. They barely survived it. So that's a good high end to look at. It All right. It at least 100 decibels to shatter glass normally. To cover that much distance, the combined sonic blast must have equaled about 244 decibels. Wow. In contrast, in order to engulf the moon, Krona's sonic waves must have reached over 275 decibels. And yes, <laughs> that's considering the weird size and shape of the moon. Yeah. Oh, just look at that freaky thing. <laughs> yeah, why the like that? <laughs> doesn't seem that much I don't know, Venom's victory is control, dark carnage. But dark. decibels increase on a logarithmic rate. This means Krona's sound attack was actually over a thousand times stronger. Vinny oh, wow. Sure wasn't surviving that. Eddie and the symbiote held their own with... Yeah, control, that's like... Dude. But Krona and Ragnarok <laughs> had wow. destructive power, blistering speed, and an arsenal that could take advantage of Venom's key weakness. Looks like Venom just got Ragnarok. <laughs> that, that was a better. That was better. I'll, 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 get, I'll give that one a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle. All right, so... Yeah, this was kind of a curve stomp here. It's it's not on the level of when Deadpool fought the mask, but it's it was a stomp. I mean, how can you beat anime characters like that? I mean, they're crazy. Uh, oh boy, it would have been. Pro I mean, I guess it wasn't anyone similar enough in DC, but. Hmm. So, yeah, Krona obviously going to win here. Unfortunately, it was, like, so plain as day. Tell me in the comments section down below here. How what? How many people won this death battle? Like, what? what's the uh, percentage, we will? How many people won? Hey, how many people voted? Yeah, have Venom and Krona fight each other here. It's like, they do that, do that, because... Those people, those people cl clearly just wanted to see a curve stump. Come back next week to see. Let's see who the next death battle is, and will you stop buffing like that? More stuff. You can click the boxes right around here, and you can always pick up some DV merch at store.roosterteeth.com. Next time. What? What? I got a tank. People with tanks are never outnumbered. Uh. Uh. Red versus blue. Who would really win? Okay. It is okay. Um. God fucking 
damn this October 18th well we are finally gonna get the answer to who would win nah this one feels like a joke this, this is like gonna be the uh this one here feels like it's gonna be the season finale cause <sighs> those two idiots no 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 they're gonna, they're gonna just when they're this close it's got they're, something's gonna happen like they're getting tired or bored or whatever or they're gonna have their movie night nah nah I will say this if it was um I think the blue team would win actually Especially if we take into account, like, all the uh, progress they've done. <coughs> I mean, Tucker, yeah, he uh, really has evolved here from just that, like, uh, little sex predator here. Always making those dumb innuendos. Bow chicka bow wow. He has a, he became a fighter. Now, will they have Church or Washington? I don't know. That's a question. Or, for that matter, will they have Carolina on their team here? Because, on the Blues, because, yeah. The Red team, eh. I, I don't know, but... <laughs> Red versus Blue. It's one of those things where, who cares? I mean, I don't want to... I don't really want them to find out. I don't want them to fight here. Just let them eat pizza. Griff would agree with, agree with that. Oh boy, so everyone, uh, thank you for watching, as always, comment below what you all thought, like and subscribe for more videos, now oh, excuse me, I got some uh, Soul Eater, to, Soul Eater manga to look at, till then this is Nexon, logging out!